Hey guys, it's Jeff Chan from Memory Shredded, and today I'm going to be showing you a few sweeps from Bottom Closed Guard. If you liked the video, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can update when a new video is released. Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Ironneck. Ironneck provides us with the most innovative tool to achieve our training and rehabilitation goals and improve longevity. I've been training with this Ironneck Pro, which has been a game changer for my overall strength and stamina of my neck. By using the Iron Neck Pro, I strengthen my neck and therefore reduces the chances of any sort of neck injuries that can occur from wrestling and grappling. It also helps with my neck mobility. Thirdly, because I also work from home and sit at a desk editing all day, I have seen improved posture from using the Iron Neck. Get your own Iron Neck with the link below and get 15% off using the discount code MMA Shredded. The first sweep is the up and over sweep. First, we want to break our opponent's posture by pulling them down with their legs and hugging them tightly. Our opponent will want to sit and posture up, so we're going to shoot our arm over top their back and try to keep them down. But we won't be able to keep them down for too long, but we are going to resist to bait them to pull up even harder. Then as they pull up harder, we post on our free arm, open our guard and post on a leg by stepping our opposite side leg down, then bridging and thrusting our hips up and over to the side we want to sweep as we use the arm on the back to wrap over our opponent's arm, taking out the only arm our opponent can use to base and stop the sweep. This sweep never worked for me until I was taught to bait my opponent by sticking tight to them as they postured up, baiting them to continue posturing up, and then surprising them with an explosive hip bump. The second sweep is the scissor sweep. First we want to control the head with one arm and an arm with our other arm. Then we want to open our guard, post on one foot to shrimp out to create space. Check the bottom left corner for a different view. Then we want to slide our shin across the belly as we bring our other leg beside our opponent's knee. We want to bait our opponent again by pushing them back with their knee slash shin. We push so that they push back and drive forward into us. Then we scissor our legs by snapping our shin across the belly forward and chopping backwards with our other leg. We do this all while pushing the head to the side we want to sweep and pulling out the arm that our opponent would use to base to stop the sweep. The third sweep is the reverse scissor sweep. We first want to go for the scissor sweep, and as our opponent resists, we are going to grab the other arm's wrist and elbow and pull it across our opponent's chest. We then want to grab tight over the back, hooking onto our opponent's lat. With our shin still across the belly, we are going to fall to our back as we pull with our arm and snap the leg that has the shin across the belly. Then we want to post on the other foot and pull our leg back and into side control. The fourth sweep is the pendulum sweep. Just like the reverse scissor sweep, we want to grab the wrist and elbow, pull the arm across our opponent's chest and hug tight around the back. Then we want to hook under the leg with our free arm, tilt to the side we want to sweep as we open our guard and kick our leg down to the mat as the bottom leg chops underneath our opponent. We want to build momentum from the chopping motion of our legs to roll our opponent over. Because our opponent's arm is across their chest, they won't have an arm to base. This fifth sweep is a variation of the pendulum sweep. We're going to control the wrist of the arm we want to sweep into. Then we want to hook under the leg with our free arm and repeat the same process. Open our guard and chop one leg down to the mat as the other leg chops underneath the legs. This next sweep is off the overhook. You can get an overhook in various ways, but in my demonstration, I'm going to take my head off center line to dodge a punch and wrap my arm over the punching arm. Then control the other arm's bicep with my free hand. Check out the top left corner for a different view. We're then going to open our guard and step the foot down of the same side arm hooking the arm and shrimp out. Once we create space from shrimping out, we swirl our butterfly hook in. The next step is to take control of the only arm our opponent has to base and bounce when we go for the sweep. So we're going to hook under the elbow with our free arm. Then to complete the sweep, we're going to snap our leg with the butterfly hook and chop our other leg underneath our opponent and pull up on the basing arm. Yeah. 
This last sweep is the lasso sweep. It works much better in a gi, but I've seen it pulled off in MMA. Former UFC champion Eddie Alvarez, who is now signed with one championship, used a sweep against Edward Folayang. First, you want to control the wrist of the side you want to sweep to. Then we want to step our feet on our opponent's hips.